Yeehaw, everybody, and welcome into episode number four of the Gophers Dynasty here on MVP 07. And if you're with us for episode three, you saw us pick up a 4 3 win over Clemson. That was the second win in two games against Clemson in that series. Well, we simulated game number three and picked up a 3 1 win. So Clemson, who was uh, number 10 in the country at the time, I believe, now dropping to 4 and 8 on the season and dropping down to 36th nationally. We are 84. First nationally up quite a bit as we started the season above 107 and two nationally as the Gophers are rolling in that 3-1 victory three uh, hit shutout by our number three starter Matthews who is now 3-0 with a .47 ERA 13 strikeouts in 19 innings only four walks and uh, yeah doing quite well the junior but uh, today we are going to start off this Vanderbilt series as they are 8-2, 7th nationally in the... 7th nationally, I was going to say 7th nationally in the country. A little bit redundant there. But yeah, 7th nationally. A uh, little two-game series away to Vanderbilt. Then we have a series against Western Kentucky, which I'll probably just simulate. And then maybe play a game in the San Francisco series. But I do kind of want to get into Big Ten play before too long. But yeah... Just wanted to get another game against top 10 team. I do like these non-conference games. Ooh, and they're starting Boscan, a long reliever, a senior. And we're going to go with our main man, Brandon Lewis, who's 1-0 in 18 innings, 2-5-0 ERA, 17 strikeouts, 9 walks. Don't love that, but Lewis, our best pitcher, freshman, right? Yeah, wow. So 84 overall freshman. And I think we're just going to keep our lineup as standard. Actually, no. I've been meaning to do this. Oh, well, too late. But I want Rhodes to start playing left field. And Cabral. To play. Let's play at Metro Ballpark. 5 p.m. Here we go. I want Rhodes to play left field, Cabral to DH, because Rhodes is a little bit faster and defensively has a lot better numbers, so i got to go into the roster and make sure I change that up. Just want to check on the recording. I think everything is working. Good, good. And here we go. 8-2 and two Vanderbilt hosting 7-2 and two Minnesota. We're at Metro Ballpark. We'll say uh, both teams still at the neutral sites. This time we're in Florida. Let's say as... Yes. Luis Boscan, 2 0, 2 3 8, with 11 innings pitched, 6 strikeouts. And possibly a control guy. We'll see. It's the Gophers early season. See if they can continue their hot early season here. First pitch, a slider, swung on and missed. And 0 1 to start the ball game is Frederick leading off. And not sure how this is going to go. I haven't played in a few days, so we'll see. 1 1 now to Frederick. Curveball outside, swung on and missed late. And it's one and two. Oh, fastball left up on the outer half. I think just a little bit early, popped up into center. And one away. Be Jake Anderson, first baseman now. Circle change, swung on and missed. Surprisingly late on the circle change. There's fastball outside. This one driven into right field, but right fielder takes a few steps. And two away. Christensen now. Three hitter right fielder for Minnesota. Check swing, but it's in for a strike. 0 1. Fastball now. Swung on and missed. 0 2. So, Christensen's, it's hard to see that inside pitch with Christensen's uh, batting stance. His hands kind of get in the way. He'll ground that one down to first. And a quick 1-2-3 inning for Boscan in the first. So Lewis will take over. Big lefty freshman. Paints the outside corner 0-1. Lewis with that excellent slider will throw it here and that one is left up and driven deep into left field 
Not out, Cabral chases it down, but the speedy leadoff hitter will get to third base with a stand-up triple. And I was kind of wondering when uh, this early season luck was going to run out for your Gophers. Might be today, although they have been playing well. There's a defensive setup, but uh, leadoff triple for Vandermelt. Not the way the Gophers wanted to start, but this will help as popped up. Capella will be there and not deep enough to drive in the runner from third. Rowlett, the big uh, three hitter here for Vandy. Gets the outside fastball. That one driven real deep and gone. Not a terrible pitch by Lewis, but excellent piece of hitting as the three hitter here for Vandy takes it the other way, drives it into that right center gap and drives it out for a two run bomb. I'll bring up Josh Alexander, first baseman. And see if Lewis sticks to the fastball. I am going to, and that is a mistake. As he goes down and gets it, and that'll be back to back. This one crushed. As Vandy came to hit today. And maybe Miami and Clemson just a little bit overrated going into the season. As we're seeing what a true top 10 team can do. Josh Alexander, 442 into right field and even into his uh, cold hitting zone that one crushed yeah I think we're gonna have to start with something else besides a fastball here I think uh, this Vandy scouting report knows I like to work that fastball as, as long as I can and then kind of start mixing things up so Lewis able to get ahead with the curveball even though it missed the zone now 0-2 Now we'll kind of go backwards, use the fastball here again. That one fouled off. And we'll do it again at 0-2. I think we're going to do that curveball. He didn't handle that very well, doesn't. Once again, and the strikeout will be the second out of the inning. Fastball, Cabral long run. Cabral, I don't know. It's interesting. His ratings are worse than Rhodes, but he kind of feels better than Rhodes in left field. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, Gophers trail 3-0 after a pair of home runs in the top of the first by the Vandy boys. 1-0 here to Schust. Another curveball outside. 2-0. Oh, high changeup, Schust. Thought it was going to be out of the zone. Falls in, but he's behind it. Now 2-1. That one outside, 2-2. Two and two. Check swing. Down to first, and the umpire says he didn't go. Full count. Now another check, and Schust works a leadoff walk. Change up. Misses outside. The 1 0 from Boscan. Driven down to second, to first, and Cabral hits into the 4 6 3 double play. Boy, behind that changeup, I thought I was going to turn on that one. So, got to get my timing down a little better here. It's Tommy Rhodes, the DH, steps up. He gets the changeup. Behind that one as well, dribbler to third. And that'll do it for the Gophers in the top of the second. They trail three to zero. Seven, eight, nine now due up here for Vanderbilt in the bottom of the second. Outside fastball painted, but fouled off 0-1. Oh See, curveball's been doing well, but we'll go back inside here. Slide piece, just late, check swing. And he did go, 0-2. And, and let's go with the fastball high and outside. The 0-2 from Lewis gets it up there. It's hit into right. Uh, Christensen's there as it's playable. And one away. Lefty-lefty matchup here. We'll start him slider. That misses just inside, 1-0. 
Lewis a little shy of uh, starting the lefty with the fastball. It's... Last time he did that was driven deep into right field. A 440 foot home run. Uh, gets a fastball in there. Now one and one. Slider away. Swing and a miss. Let's see. With the one and two. Let's go high and tight. Misses high. Two and two. One away here, bottom one, or bottom two, rather. As curveball inside, and that one's hit back up the middle for a single. And Vanderbilt will have one on with one out. I believe the number nine hitter coming to the plate. Fastball outside, hits it down to Capello. Over to Wade, back to first, and the double play will end the inning. As the Gophers able to get a 4-6-3 double play of their own. They will head in to hit in the top of the third with 7-8-9 coming to the plate. Pello watches it low. That change falls in. One and one. Fastball misses inside, two and one. Pello swings under the high fastball, two two. Fastball driven deep into the hole, diving play by the shortstop gets up over to first, just low. Not sure if Capello would have beat it, but I'm sure they'll give him the infield single, and that'll bring up Stadolka. As Gophers have their first base runner of the ball game. Trailing three, not going to bunt. Not sure why the runner took off from first, but he gets back into first base, sliding safely. The old one to Stadolka, just behind it, driven into right field. And one down. Yeah, just behind everything. Billy Wade now up at the plate. Wade gets the breaking ball, fouls it off, 0-1. Another curveball, that checks swing, and it'll be caught in foul territory. I should have committed there. Phone alarm was going off, so a little distracted, but two away, one runner on. And the fastball to Frederick, a little bit antsy, drives it into right rather than going the other way. Long run, but the play is made. And that'll do it for the Gophers in the third. Top of the order due up for Vanderbilt. They lead 3-0. And actually, uh, unfairly given an error. So Capello not given the hit. A little bit of home cooking on that scoring right there. The Gophers still without a hit. Fastball missed from Lewis. Now the slider. That one grounded to Capello at second. Flips to first. One down. Ross Hammonds. Two hitter do up. Slider. He goes with it into the left center gap. Frederick going to have to chase it down. Doesn't do a great job and it might be a triple. And it is. Another triple now for Vanderbilt. I'll have a runner at third, one away. And three hitter Rowlett, who went yard his first time up. He's going to get the slider down and in. Does enough to get it through the infield, and he'll drive in the run. Vanderbilt leads 4 0. Josh Alexander, he hit the big fly into right field his first time up. We're going to start him off with the breaking ball this time. Missed just low, 1 0. Okay, Lewis, let's get a double play here and get out of the inning. This one's going to get hit sharply, fastball, but right at somebody. Swing and a miss, one and one. One one to Alexander. This Capello can't make the play at second, has... 
gets it over to first in enough time to at least get one out. Oh, just, just trying to flip it to second. I don't know. Nothing, nothing was happening. Must have tried to go a little too quick. Two outs. Runner on second. Curveball outside. Schust makes the play over to first. And Vanderbilt is retired in the third inning. They get another one. They lead 4-0. Gophers 2-3-4 due up. Still without a hit. Boskan breaking ball. That one hammered to the shortstop by Anderson. One down. Christensen now. We might have to consider dropping him in the order as he started off the season with a 171 batting average. That'll help. Drives it right back up the middle off the pitcher, but able to get to first base. The one out single. Schust holds up 1 and 0. Slider low 2 and 0. Curveball in 2 and 1. Fastball now outside 3 and 1. I think Schust was sitting on that fastball. 3-1 again. Shoots another check swing. Didn't go, and it'll be a walk. And now two on, nobody out. Or one out. As Cabral comes to the plate. That's right. Anderson, sharp ground ball to short. I'm trying to remember that first out. 1-0. To Cabral outside. 2-0. See the boss scan. I'm down to 64% stamina, so... Trying to lose it a little bit. That one hit sharply down to third base. Gloved and two down. The Gopher is getting a good piece of the ball, but hitting it just right at somebody. Still down 4-0. Two on, two out. Tony Rhodes at the plate. Here's the 1-0 from Boscan. That's a breaking ball. Should have been left alone, but tap foul. And it's 1-1. One and one. There's a breaking ball. Rhodes tries to hit it the other way, but grounded down to third base. Over to first. And the Gophers are done in the top of the fourth. They get a, their first hit, but leave two on and trail 4-0. to zero. Mursky, Doyle, and Gummo do up for Vanderbilt in the bottom of the fourth. Brandon Lewis still going for the Gophers. Fastball in, 0-1. Hasn't used the slider a ton today. And go curveball again. That one tapped to Anderson at first. Steps on the bag. And one down. Fastball outside. Hit sharply on two hops to Capello. It'll flip to first and two way. Gummo will get a slider here to start off. See if he goes after it. Doesn't. And it's 0-1. Probably go after this fastball here down and in. He does. Down to Schust. Schust pounces on it to first. And a quick 1-2-3 inning for Vanderbilt in the fourth. 7-8-9 due up for the Gophers. They try and get their first runs of the game. Oh, Capello. Leave it alone. High curveball. Swung on and missed. 0-1. Fastball outside. 1-1 one, one from Boscan. Swung on and missed again by Capello. 1-2. and two. Let's make Boscan work a little bit here, Capello. He's losing it. Curveball. Check. Misses. 2-2. Two and two. That one driven into the gap. And that'll be an extra base hit. As Capello rounds first. And gets into second. As that was... A little bit close, and apparently he has been injured with an inflamed elbow. So he'll have to leave the game. Thankfully, we have Shreddy, who has played quite well in his limited time to come in, but worrisome for our main man at second base. Second base, Capello. Hope he's all right. 
Austin Olka with nobody down. Takes the outside fastball for a strike. 0-1. Outside again, this one off the plate, and the count is now even. One ball, one strike here from Boscan. Fastball driven to third, good play by the third baseman. And Sadolka is retired. Little dive to the left, gets up. Strong arm over to first. Billy Wade now, 0-1. 0 for 1, I should say. I think he did that the last time. Gotta just let those go. Or commit to the swing. Does neither. Checks it. Pops up. And a very unproductive second out for the Gophers. Here in the top of the fifth. Circle change. Just misses. 1-0. Frederick's going to be our guy to at least get us a run here. In the fifth. Although he won't if he keeps going after pitches off the plate. So swing and a miss, now one and one. That one lifted, but not past the shortstop. Play is made, and that'll do it for the Gophers in the fifth. 9-1-2, do it for Vanderbilt. That starts with Adam Herrett. Herrett batting uh, 378 out of the nine spot for Vanderbilt in the opening month of the season. That one taken for a strike, 0-1. How's Lewis on stamina? 70% just fine. Fastball down and in. It's interesting. Down and in. Normally a kind of the bread and butter spot for left-handed hitters, but most of these uh, lefties for Vanderbilt. That's actually a cold spot. That one left up. Down to Shiretti, the new second baseman. And he'll make the play. Two quick outs. And the bottom of the fifth. Hammond steps up, uh, hit a triple, I believe, his last time at the plate. Fastball misses low, now 2-0. We're going to hit him off a little 2-0 curve inside. Just a little get-me-over. Doesn't get over, and it's now 3-0. and Lewis able to bounce back. Fastball in there, three and one. All right, let's go a little three one slider. And that one hit back up the middle. Maybe a one out single for Hammonds, his second hit of the day. We're going to roll a two for two, including the uh, big home run. Drives it down to first, but foul, 0 and 1. Slider down and in, checked. Lewis will have to go to first. And two away, or well, that'll do it. I'm getting lost in the amount of outs here. Gophers still trail 4-0, gotta get the bats going. But they do have the heart of the order coming up here in the sixth inning. Boscan still on the hill. That circle change in for a strike to start off the sixth. Anderson swings, one hopper to third base, over to first, one down. Christensen, one for two today. He checks, but goes around on the curveball, 0-1. Curveball again, that one in the zone, 0-2. Curveball, fouled back. And we'll do the 0-2 once again. Christensen, good job getting something on that one. Change up, leaves it high, and it's 1-2. and two. So hard to see the release point with Christensen's hand in the way. Like right there, he goes after the high fastball. And down on strikes for out number two as John Shue steps to the plate. He's been on twice with a pair of walks. You know, watch that curveball high. As Christensen should learn from Shoes. Just start watching pitches. That one outside. Now 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
Curveball in, two and one. Slider, late swing, and it's two and two. She was just down in front of the slider outside, popped up to the catcher, and Gophers can't get anything going offensively. Boskan through the sixth easily, four, five, six, two up for Vanderbilt. And Josh Alexander crushed the uh, solo shot into right field. It's first time up. Grounder to Sharetti, long run. Sharetti makes the play. Great job by the senior. Came in in place of Capello, who got injured, sliding into second. Fastball driven into right. Christensen going to have to track it down. He'll throw it into second, and no play. Gophers are going to get the bullpen up. Milleron, I don't know if he's pitched. This is a little Milleron Kit McGangus time. So we're down four. One out double. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Lewis goes down and in with the fastball. Gets the pop up into right field. Probably going to be a tag situation. And there is. But uh, two away. And Lewis is going to try and strand that runner at third base. Fastball, foul back to the screen, 0-1. Gophers in danger of dropping their third game of the season, although it has been a surprisingly good start for Minnesota. Another one fouled back. 7-2, and two, jumping up 20-some spots nationally as well. Fastball high, that one laced into right field. Field Christensen making me nervous, hopping all around, but able to keep his eyes on it, we'll say, and make the catch. Five, six, seven, do up. So Gophers need hits. Boskan still going for Vanderbilt here in the top of seven. Change up. Just hits the knees. In for a strike, 0 and 1. Outside, 1 and 1. One on miss, change up inside. Now count goes one and two. Another change up. This one misses outside. Two two here from Boskan. Breaking ball fouled off down third base and it'll land, and we'll do the two two again. Oh, just out in front of the breaking ball. Hits it right up the shaft, and catcher gloves it. One down. Got to focus in to hit here. I mean, I should be should be crushing this guy. Rhodes swings under the changeup, 0-1. Rhodes, I like that outside pitch with these lefties. Curve ball misses low. That breaking pitch fouls back. Curveball clips the zone. And Rhodes down on strikes. And the Vanderbilt bench like what they see as Boskan continues to roll, only surrendering two hits. So Roy Sheretti comes up. I believe this is his first at bat. After coming in for Capello, drives it into left. But that'll be easy for the left fielder. And the Gophers are done in the seventh. We'll stand and stretch. Vanderbilt coming to the plate with the 4-0 lead in the bottom of the seventh. Todd Gummo to lead off, DH. The Gophers are actually going to go to their bench and get Milleron. Milleron's going to come in and make what I believe is his first appearance of the season. Oh, he's already appeared once. Three innings pitched. That's right, maybe... Got a save? 
But yeah, that'll do it for Lewis. Not a bad effort, Lewis. Got to him early, but he settled. Miller on with that quick windup. Cutter hits the plate. 0 and 1. Yeah, Miller on uh, basically a fastball cutter type pitcher. That one hit down to short. Wade, great throw over to first. One down. Here it now will do. The cutter clips the outside corner. 0 and 1. Miller on cutter again. 0 2. Let's go high and outside. Four seam fastball. Pete got a piece of it. A foul down the left field line. Another cutter outside. Starts outside, stays outside, swung on and missed. And a strikeout for Miller on. That cutter's pretty nasty. That one missed outside. Miller on definitely uh, has potential as a lefty specialist with this cutter. That one driven to Shreddy at second. And uh, might have more than just potential to be a lefty specialist with innings like that. Milleron does the business. Takes care of Vanderbilt in whatever inning that was. The 7th. And the Gophers will come up here in the 8th. Stadolka checks, but he may have gone around. He did. 0-1. Stadolka fights off the high fastball into right. But tracked down by the right fielder. One away. Bobby Wade stepping up now. 0 for, 0 for 2. And once again, it's a stupid check. That's a one hopper to first. I had a feeling this game wouldn't go very well. I haven't played in a while, but ah, just not very focused at the plate. I should be. I mean, if this guy goes CG, it's going to be very uh, disappointing. Frederick takes the slider low, 1 0. Boskan in again, 2 0. And you got to wonder if uh, Vanderbilt's going to have their ace on the hill, game two. Tomorrow. 3 0 now from Boskan. I'd like to get Frederick on base, although with two outs, not the ideal situation. 3 0 change in, and it's 3 1. Swung under the 3 1 changeup. Frederick swinging at what, have, what would have been ball four. Yeah, did it again. Gophers down in order once again. Only two hits on the day. Will be Hammonds due up. Or Vanderbilt in the eighth. And the Gophers are going to have just the ninth inning to try and score any runs. Cabral, long run to his left, but makes the play as Todorov warms up for Vandy in their bullpen. Fastball hit right back up the middle and into center for a single. One on and one out for Vandy here in the eighth. Alexander up. Milleron gets him to swing at the cutter. Anderson, the short, back to first. And the 3-6-3 double play will end the inning quickly in the eighth inning. Gophers do up in the ninth with 2-3-4. I'd love to just score a run and get Boskan out of the game. Change up falls in there, 0 and 1. Keep thinking those are going to go low. Another change swung on but off the plate, 0 and 2. Good mix by Boskan. And then throws the low curveball, very tough to handle. Good AB from Boskan. Christensen can't even see where that is. That tapped a second. Two, two quick outs in the ninth, and Boskan looking good for the complete game shutout. Once again, changeup just paints the outside corner. 0-1. Oh, 1-1. Let's go, Shoes. Come on, just hit one over the fence. Change up outside, two and one. Shoe started with two walks on the day. Oh, 
reaching at the slider. Right up the chute. And that'll do it. Gophers drop this one. Just couldn't hit. I think only two hits on the day. Complete game for Boscan. He improves to 3-0. Lewis drops his first game of the season. A little... Gave up a few runs early, settled. Gave two run homers in the first. Capello, the only extra base hit, injured himself, sliding into second. Hopefully he's all right, but yeah, only two hits. Jeez, Christensen and Capello. Boskans kind of just lulled us to sleep. But uh, great uh, great accuracy from Boskan. Did walk, too. But yeah, wow, really should have uh, should have hit a lot better. But nice uh, appearance from Milleron. Continues to stay clean in five innings now after the uh, two-inning appearance. And Lewis's ERA up to three. So Gophers, yeah, lose game one to Vanderbilt. 4-0. And uh, why don't we just sim this other game with Vanderbilt here quickly. Capello out for one to two weeks. We'll fix automatically as I think they'll just slot Shreddy in there somewhere. Let's just sim this one real fast. Chip Hyatt versus Overbay. So they're going to have their three starter. It's only 67 overall. After that, man, Gophers really could have uh, picked up. So Rivera's going to catch. I'm okay with that. Gophers could have picked up a couple wins here as they did not face the one or two from Vandy and had their one and two going against Vandy. So we'll just do a little coach here. Anderson, Rhodes, infield single. So ooh, Rhodes batting two. Brawl walks. Christensen, two run home run to right. So he hits it the other way. Frederick now on as he's not leading off anymore, but we will try and send him over to second. He gets there. And with no outs, Rivera gets on. And I think we're gonna we're gonna sacrifice Bunt and try and get two more runs on the board. And that maybe was stupid. And it probably was stupid. Oof, that's gonna make things very difficult. How do we replace Wade at short? Can anyone play second base? Stadolka, you might have to play second base. Yeah, Stadolka, you can do it. So bring in for Wade. But then we gotta go Shreddy at short. And Stadolka at second. See if we can do that somehow. Okay, can't, oh, I see. Well, we'll wait till we are in the field and then we can do it. So here we go. Hmm. Well, just hopes that Olka doesn't make a ton of uh, errors at shortstop. Top five. Anderson on. It's Klein. Lefty. Cabral. Christensen who's got the big two-run homer. He's on with a uh, walk. And Frederick do up. Damn it. See, I knew it. I was going to bunt that time. And I decided not to because of what happened the time before. Able to get out of the sixth inning. No damage done. Gophers keep the 3-1 lead. Rhodes with a one-out single. Gets Anderson to third. Schust up. He'll walk. Now bring up Cabral with the bases loaded. One out. He'll single in a run. Christensen's out. And Frederick is out as well. So bottom of the seventh. Hyatt still going. Six hits. Two walks. One strikeout. Harrit's out. Burn on with a single. Hammett's out. And Rowlett retired, so I think that'll probably do it for Chip Hyatt's day. 
Alexander, yeah. So they've got the lefties, so we're going to go with Becker, who they've now put in as the closer. Which is annoying. And we get through the eighth, Becker. Rhodes double. Schust gets on because of a walk. Cabral, two outs now. Christensen. See if Becker can close it out. Gets the first two, then Hammonds. Big home run to right. Now Rowlett, the big, he's the uh, power hitter. 333, two homers, 14 RBIs on the short season. Alexander, who's got four home runs now up. Gets him to swing at strike three. Gets the save, and the Gopher has split the series with a 4-3 victory in exciting fashion against the Vanderbilt Commodores. Chip Hyatt, another great outing. He goes seven, giving up seven hits, striking out two, but only giving up one earned. Take a quick look at the box score. Three hits for Tony Rhodes. He goes three for five. Anderson, two for five, leading off. I think should have paid closer attention, but I'll kind of get the uh, batting order back to what it was. Christensen with a two-run homer. Rivera Cabral with RBIs as well. And then, yeah, Chip Hyatt. Becker came in two innings, gave up two runs, but did get the save. I, I was going to take him out, but I thought the game might go crazy if I took out the closer as they put Becker in as the closer. So yeah, we'll just uh, auto-fix this for now, and I will remember to go ahead and do all the necessary roster changes when we see you in the next episode. So I'll probably yeah, simulate through the Western Kentucky series, maybe some of the USF series, keep the uh, non-conference slate rolling. So after the 4-0 uh, defeat, a 4-3 victory for the Gophers, who are 8-3 and, and now up to 63rd nationally. So very exciting. Vanderbilt down to 12th. The Gophers continue to roll. We'll see what they can do when we see you on the next episode. And as always, we will see you next time.